Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream for our official PvP championship for War Divisions Final Fantasy Brave XVS 2023 Leonis Cup. My name is Justin. I am the community manager for the game. And of course, we have RNJ. How are you doing today? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Start working towards that grand champion. These are the match rules. So it's a single elimination tournament. Friendly matches with auto on on 1.5 times speed. Initial placement is allowed. It's a best of three in round one to the quarterfinals and the semis. When we get to the actual finals today, that'll be a best of five. That's it. Once you've made it to the top two, I believe you've punched your ticket. So at that point, you're just playing for glory, right? So we're going to be jumping into the first match here. So we've got Tyr here on the screen. And then Goat Stew here. Okay, it's going to be the double mages, Gahal and Helena versus Seymour Yuffie for the Evade. Gahal might be in range to do something here. I don't know. He moved forward, but I don't see casting time going on right here. Fiery Banishment comes out. 7858. There's the first big damage that we've seen today. Yuffie does a lot of work right there. And then this team is fast enough that the Snipe Dagger from Seymour will almost kill Ravis. Mod's going to walk up an auto attacker for the kill. So Ravis goes down. So it's her turn again. Skahal and Helena both going to take the blinding triple hit right there. Helena is about 30% HP. She moves over. Deep Sea Impact on the tank. Oh my gosh. And slap <laughs> Mott down. He's gone. Seymour, what do you have? Let's see what you got. Okay, he's got a double kill. That's pretty clutch. He did max damage to Skahal, who re-raises. Now it's Yuffie's turn. She could probably finish this right here. Yeah, this is Drain Zone comes out. That's 11,000 damage to both units. And Gotsu gets the win. That's awesome. Moving on to the semi-final. GG. So we got J and A Y. Then we have Faz. All right, so here we go. It's going to be Yuffie, Pissarro, Naya. So that's not a total surprise. I think this is most of what you see when you see fire is Pissarro, Yuffie. It's pretty good. Those two work together very well. Treasure Hunter's Fortune comes out. Now there's the agility luck buff. But I got to point out, like Pissarro did that buff to Naya. Naya's turns. Naya has Reflect. Now, it's very hard to get Naya to use Reflect. She's going to actually cast Regenerate on the team and group up. And she walked right into this. Thunder. Okay. Salir just killed two people. Yuffie gets her CT up. It's her turn. Can she triple kill this entire Lightning team? No, she's just going to go Probably for the Salir. carries. She kills yep. both of them. Skahal doesn't die. He's got permanent courage. Skahal's back to full life. He's channeling Toad. And okay, this fight gets even more interesting. Yuffie <laughs> is now a frog. Now the frog's not going to be a frog anymore after one more turn. 188 AP, Windstorm Plus comes out. She kills Resnick. Skahal goes for Toad, and once again, we've got a frog. This frog's gonna lick him to death right now. No, wait, debilitate. Okay, okay, <laughs> that would have been an absolutely oh. epic finish. He does re race, so it's not over yet. <laughs> Just buckle your seatbelts, because this is a very slow moving car. Let's see, what do you got now, Skahal? Nothing, you're dead. Okay, there he goes. My the goodness. Frog wins. Fast and the Furious picks up the W. Yeah. We're moving on to the next one here. Mr. Kiwi here. He's got the title belt. He needs to defend it. Then we have VIP Korea. So, a uh, clash of titans potentially right here. Kiwi shows Sephiroth again. Korea shows Leela again. Now Lucia's turn. Unhappy ending. 48-42. Leela goes down and it's a 2v3. Here comes Lucia. She's going to go Arcane Assimilation. Is it Assimilation and Annihilation? I don't remember. Arcane, big limit break coming out. 21182 with the follow-up attack. This Dwayne is pretty tanky. And Sephiroth going to follow up with his Octo Slash. This could very well be a double kill. On to the Whisper and to the Lucia right here from Sephiroth. It is... They're down, and now, just like that, Kiwi finds himself in a 2v1, but it's now a 1v1. Kiwi, your turn. Hell's Gate comes out, 5,000 damage. Nobody's dead yet. Kiwi Sephiroth is low, but didn't move, so gets the lap. Teleric Fury comes out, and he chains him down. Kiwi's team wins. <laughs> All right, Kiwi's staying alive. Defending Kiwi. champ will uh, not be dethroned yet. Now, Odaiba Dai versus Kachung. Kachung representing Hong Kong today. So here we go. Once again, Stern, Boon of the Lion. Oh gosh, hold on. I gotta just comment. The Dark Resist too is a job right there. <laughs> that was a Sephiroth attack that did, that did, uh, let's see, um, uh, Baylo levels of damage. Okay, here's, meanwhile, Kachung Sephiroth goes in there and That's does a lot of damage. Now here comes Dwayne. 
he's going to follow that up. He is going to look for probably one of his AoE moves right here. Hit all three people with absolute terror. But once again, it's just tank very effectively. Odiva Sephiroth up now. Hazard Break. This will chain even... Now, that's the difference. There it is. So, this time, the Dark Resist pays off and everybody's still alive. Now, here's the thing. Is the Leela in range yet? No. So, that means Dwayne will die. Leela's gonna move in. That means... Okay, Odiva Sephiroth is now, like, very, very safe. Because this Leela is really far away from him. Sephiroth's gonna just get to stand there and do whatever he wants until they can kill Leela. Stern's gonna try to do that right now, but 4,400 damage is not nearly enough, but Sephiroth gets to hit everybody, 46 AP. Here it comes. Can they live through this Shadow Flare? Um, no, no, and no. It's a triple kill, and Odaiba yeah. picks up the win. GG, congratulations, Odaiba. So we got Goat Stew versus Faz. Now, Faz is gonna go ice team right here. Goat Su running it back with the Skahal. Gonna be an ice missile team. This is our first taste of that today. Um, excited to see this. This used to be the meta. I was it just was gonna say, what is this? Eh? This little 1v1 on the side between Skahal and Alaya is really interesting. Thunder kills her. Okay, wow. So Skahal with that permanent courage outplays Alaya. That's probably the difference in this fight. Like, Skahal lives through the one-shot, and then he one-shots back while getting healed. Wow. There could also still be some shenanigans with, like, some, uh... Well, no, I don't know that Nasha has shenanigans up her kit. Like, she's gonna be hard to kill, but uh, this is probably GG with this spell right here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so Skahal living through that early... Um, yeah, like, Robbie's gonna auto-attack Nasha right here and end this. But there it was. It was all about Skahal's permanent curse. So, GG... The Lightning Mage team win. Goat's going to move on. You know, it's kind of funny. Of all the people that could have ended up together, it was Kiwi and Odaiba. Kiwi going to ready up. He's one running day. the Light team. It's Sakura. So, if Odaiba is running the same Dark team that he's been running the whole time, Kiwi could just have gone to the bench and said, I'm just anticipating that again. I'm going to bring out Warrior of Light. I don't know what's going to happen right here. The, can Sakura without buffs on him? Live through Sephiroth Dwayne. Teleric, no, she's dead. Because that's too much of a chain. Dwayne is going to walk up here and do, like, what, the fourth hit on this chain? The third hit on this chain. It does max damage. So Sakura gets killed. <laughs> Silence has not proc in the entire tournament. Spirit of Prayer will come out. All debuffs are removed. Still, this Warrior of Light will eventually run out of aggro, and I think Sephiroth can hit Mashiru right here. I he love the it. team that Kiwi put together. But Sakura running out there and dying is just, that's GG. Leela might be the one to finish off Mashiri after all. Silencing spell, yeah, she kills her and silences her. It's Warrior of Light versus three. It's going to be the summon. Let's make it an first Odin summon. just for swag. It is our first summon of the day. Here it comes. Odaiba wins in four matches instead of two. GG, <laughs> Odaiba moves on to the finals. It's been a long road. But we've come to the grand finals here for the Leonis Cup. Odaiba, will the lightning team repeat? Odaiba's sticking it out till the end with that Leela. It's still Dwayne. Odaiba just said, this is the best team in the game. I'm going to run it every single time. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think his thinking is literally that simple here. Yeah. How is this, how is this Skahal off by himself right here? I don't get it. Like, Odaiba runs the same formations basically every time. How are you setting your Skahal? Up it okay, whatever. Here we go. Sephiroth's coming at him. He's gonna use his limit break. This is bad news for Skahal, who will get one shot by this. Now I know it says courage removal. Remember, you cannot remove Skahal's courage. Dwayne can come up to him now and one-shot him again, and it won't matter. So actually Dwayne gets debilitate encountered, which might not be the greatest thing. Oh, he still one-shots him, but Skahal will live through that because it's Skahal. Now, he's gonna channel a spell and run away. It's gonna be Thundog and Disposer, so he drops that on him both. Man, Skahal's busted. Dwayne goes down. Can Sephiroth hit Skahal right here? If he does, he might still win. Nope, he goes for Robbie. So Robbie's is going to step up, blade bash the Leela. Debilitating counter. Wow, he doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for this man. Debilitating counter will take Sephiroth out. Leela, the not bold, will go for a nothing because she gets debilitating counter. And in perfect form, Skahal 1v3s the last fight. GG. That's it. Go Stu winning the first ever Leonis Cup. You get to come to the finals in December. Congratulations, sir. Thank you.
I think you've done very well. Well, Skahal was very strong. Yes, I, and uh, when I thought of Seymour, I had to wrap up his fate so that he could land his uh, status effects. Yeah, so that's what that's what I'm thinking when he when I put him in the team. He did good. He did fine. Thank you. Sorry, I'm very nervous with this interview. Much more. <laughs> You're doing very well, You're and I'm great. sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And congrats again. Huh? Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That's going to do it for the Leonis Cup. So thank you very much to all the participants out there. And congratulations to Odiva Diver for getting second place and Goat Stew, the band and the player, for achieving first place. I'm Justin, and that's going to do it for us. Thank you again. Greetings, everybody. Hello and welcome to the 2023 uh, War Divisions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Championship. This is the Hindler Cup. My name is Justin. I am the community manager for War Divisions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. So yes, thank you very much for joining today, Mr. RNJ. This is the second tournament that we've had in the War Divisions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Championship series. It's going to go all the way until December this year. This is going to be our first manual battle cup. We've had some first matches already, but let's Let's get into the details let's find out about what we have going on here these are the match in the rules so this is going to be taking place on the ancient runes 10 single elimination tournament auto is off speed 1.5 times initial placement you're allowed to move your units around no changes are allowed to composition after the match is determined and everybody join the room but here's the bracket for the semi-finals here we're going to be starting off with Urzarage and pantat so here we go okay it's naya sephiroth regular stern well, there's a lot of there's a lot of mental math going on. Still, though, regular Stern's biggest weakness is that he dies in one attack. Zephyros up 96 AP. He steps forward, confidently steps forward, goes for the Hell's Gate, takes out the enemy. Sephiroth is taking a knee. Leela, he's gonna go with Holy. So elemental advantage attack right here, 44-47. Stern survives with exactly enough HP to live through that attack. He's going to catch a heal from Naya right here. Curative Prayer comes out, 76 AP on Sephiroth right here. He's setting himself up for a big AOE attack. Just feeling out the damage, feeling out the range. Hell's Gate's gonna come out. Leela's down. Lemire, also down. So congratulations, <laughs> Urza. GG. That's a one semifinal down. So Urza will be going to the finals now. We do have a second semifinal match already set up, ready to go. Both of these players from the U.S., Zeke and Isvar. Oh, it's a Ural Bradley team. I've been playing this. I love this squad. It is a really good mix of damage types. And I 100% <laughs> appreciate it, Isvar. I'm cheering for you now. 76, 30 HP. She's got plenty of buffs to cast. She's going to go Evil Doers Beware. Give herself that evasion up. There's the Courage removal. Okay, so Ural has provided it to Zeke right here. Zeke does not have to move forward. She's going to go Evil Doers Beware. Give herself that evasion up. Okay, there's the Courage removal. Okay, so Ural has provided Bradley with Courage removal. He could go look for his one shot here. He goes Calculated Rend. It does remove Courage. It does kill Elena. But this was not the one that also had Re-Raise remove on it. So she is going to Re-Raise. The way she's backing off, I think Zeke's calculations were not quite what he expected. So just goes with the Drain Evocation, which does full heal, but gives the CT up to Bradley when he pops his Courage. Now, the CT up Master is finding the range. He's going to hit everybody with Calculated Rin. And just like that, y'all saw it. Y'all saw I, it. That was a triple kill right there for Bradley. GG, congratulations. We are going to be moving into the grand finals here. At the Urza versus Isvar. Okay. Urza Rage seems to really love that Stern. His strategy really seems to be built around that. Isvar is really doing a good job changing up his own strategy. I think they're both very strong teams and they both very much know what they're doing. Bradley is in range of Sephiroth right here, but definitely does not have killing power through his shield so what do you do ult does he go for big aoe attack he goes for the ult octa slash coming out so here we go we are now officially into the match as damage starts coming down this will hit both units and remove courage bradley's gonna go for the double crit i think this is the right play i think if you're bradley right here you go Oh, nope. calculated rend onto both does not kill stern does get ct up and didn't have to move we're going to have Stern next. He's going to step forward one space. Calamity Hazard on Bradley and takes him down. So King Bradley is out. Huge advantage there for Urza. 
King Bradley unable to kill gets killed and now everybody's looking healthy on the dark team Urza stays with the dark squad and at this point I'm just gonna call it this is the this is the counter reverse <laughs> sweep play Stern's up next he steps forward he's going to go what calamity hazard there it is, 6,600 damage. That is a dead Jurel, and GG Urza Rage picks up the win, the Heidler Cup 2023 champion. Congratulations, Urza Rage. That was very close. Isfar, congratulations to you as yes. well. Um, very well played, very, very, very close. But we're actually gonna jump close. into the interview here. Well Greetings, Urza Rage. Congratulations, Hello. first congratulations on your win. Yes, congrats. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Did yeah, that team? Yeah. Did you have? Uh, did you have any other units that you were thinking about using, or were you just going to use Sephiroth and Stern and Naya the whole time? Yeah, this what I mean. I I like Sephiroth and Stern, and Stern. I think he is a good for them. He can jump. Yeah, that jump was really useful. That, the jumping, we talked about the jumping a lot on stream. All right, well, is there anybody that you want to give maybe a, a shout out to or any other comments that you have? Thank everybody for, for this tournament. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. And congratulations again. See you in December. Okay, December. See you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, everybody. That's going to do it for the War Divisions Final Fantasy Brave Exodus Championship 2023 Eindler Cup. We will see you in the next time for now. Bye.